Hey guys. <clears throat> M12 Warthog here. I'm back with another video. And so is this sand shark behind me. Hope it went away. I heard it. So, in the last video, I ended up getting a lot of supplies. But also, more importantly, got the thing I have in my hand here, a sea glide. So, now I want to go and check resources. Well, I have a metal salvage. Let's actually, uh... Break that down into titanium, because that's like building materials for literally about like 70% of everything in the game needs that. It's basic building materials. Alright. Goal for today. Increase the power that we have at our disposal. Oh. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, well, well, I guess I could, it's just that I can't put the titanium there. Alright. Actually, let's give it to the cave sulfur. Now, I need to put that in my stuff thing. Oh, great, we got more metal salvage. So we got, we already have a lot of this. <clears throat> so I believe there is bigger rooms we can take a look at. And, well, bigger rooms we can get for our base once we scan them. So, that would be nice to have, but I feel like if I'm going to be able to get to even go near those places, I'm going to need a sea moth. So, I believe if I check this, do we get enough uh, things to figure out what we need? Still, nope. Ingredients unknown. Okay. So, we need to go looking for more blueprints then. Actually. Uh. Two quartz. I think we have quartz titanium. We probably need more copper if we want that. Alright. I guess we're okay. My opinion in terms of our power at our base, even though it's very small. But I feel like I want to get some more now, that way we don't have to worry about that in the future. Don't need that. That's a beacon thing. We don't need more titanium at the moment, because when I scan that, that's what it's going to do. Because I already have a blueprint. Don't need that. That's more titanium. So this is some sort of geothermal hotspot, which somehow can occur... On an ocean planet. I don't know how that how that works or the science behind that, but it, we'll find out later probably, if not sooner. Alright. So let me see here. So I'm gonna use that wreckage as a point of reference. I do have a beacon for my own home. Not much of a home, but you know. better than nothing, and I don't like the fact that I can hardly see anything. Okay, there, we have the light on. Ooh! Oh, I should probably go to the surface and get oxygen first. I do not like that sound I'm hearing off in the distance. Actually, let's get more. Okay, so... Long story short, I think we will get a sea moth this episode because I just found a blueprint. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, that sounds scared the crap out of me. Acquired. Okay, so that's another sea moth fragment. Don't need to scan that. Bar table. Well, I'm not much of a drinker, but, you know, maybe having a table in our house would be useful. I'd have no clue. Alright. The 
This seems like a wreckage. There might be something useful here. Scanner room fragment. Integrating new Scanner CDA room system. fragment. Okay. So I guess we're finding a lot of fragments now. I already have Seamoth. Seconds. Oh, that goes down a lot faster because I'm below 100 meters. Let's just warm up. I feel like I should get an oxygen pump and then put some pipes down here. Just so that I could get what I need. Like, from this thing. If that's possible. Well, I could just swim directly down. Let me see here. Can I get in this? Yes, it looks like it can. Well, I'm not gonna stick down here and read it while my oxygen's sticking down. Integrated Cut open. I don't have a tool for that. They have outgoing radio system of some kind. Uh, open data box. Ooh, data. Okay, can I scan, scan anything in here? Nope. No, I cannot. Oh, technically, I guess I don't have to go through there. Modification station fragment. Okay, given the rate at which we lose oxygen, probably best if I start leaving now. Is this door openable? Nope, I guess not. All right. Time to swim out of here. Oh my god, what the heck is that thing? Can I scan that thing? Wow, seem a lot closer. To, uh, whatchamacallit. To the Aurora now. That thing turning around on me? This thing harmful? A reef back. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll read about it when we get back to our base. That was probably those weird groaning noises off in the distance I've been hearing. Well, now that we know how to make a, uh, sea moth... Well, technically it's in our database. I don't know yet. I haven't taken a look yet. We need to get there as soon as possible. What is this? Oh, oh more metal salvage. Geothermal hotspot of some kind, or whatever that is. Alright. Take a look at that, but I want to go up here first. And see... What we have. Alright. So, what do we need? Okay, titanium ingot. We have a lot of a titanium, so we can do that. Lead, lubricant, glass, and power cell. What do I know how to make all of these? Calorie intake recommended. Uh, I just don't have one thing and that is, uh... Oh, calorie intake. Uh, well, uh... I do have this sea glide so I can swim around and get fish faster. Like, I should be able to get that, alright. Where's that sea creeper? Alright. Screw it, I'm not Welcome gonna aboard, Captain. take waste any more time. Looking for more of them. I'm just gonna eat it now. That alright. Vital 
vital signs stabilizing. I still don't get it how uh, water is non vegetarian This type of water is non-vegetarian. I think I still feel like they put that in there for the what what the f factor. All right. Do we have that? We have gold here. We have no copper. We need more copper for batteries. Sucks. Actually, uh, for... What else do we have internal? Modification station. We did find stuff for that. Uh, miscellaneous. Bar table. Okay. Scanner room. Okay. So for now, what I think I'm gonna do is get a bunch of titanium. Okay. Grab some more. I believe we needed... What else do we need? A uh, lubricant and uh, and something else under electronics. I believe it was power cell. Okay, so two battery and silicone rubber. So we, either way, we're still looking for copper. Wait, I don't need my flashlight anymore because the sea glide has built-in. Flashlight. But that's probably what's taking up most of the battery here. So I'll just turn that off. Okay. Great. Okay, so I think it's one copper if memory serves right in two acid mushrooms to make a battery. Then I'm gonna need one to recharge this sea glide, so. Well, that sucks. We're just gonna keep making batteries. We're gonna run out of them. Is there a way we could recharge them? Nope, there is. the sound of something not so friendly come after me and I just started running the other way oh what's that oh probably from the flare I dropped earlier yep those last such a long time but they only just 30 seconds all right So, I think we got enough copper for that. Do we have enough for silicone rubber? What's the silicone rubber made out of? Okay. Uh, let me see here. What do I have? Uh, no, uh, what we need to do is... Um, sign that to five. Open locker. We have a battery here. I know it's not fully charged, but does it have to be to craft it? I don't know. We find seed clusters. Okay, so we need that. I 
we don't have far to go. Get those, so... I just gotta be very, very careful of the raptors. Should have everything we need. So I have that. Uh, almost everything actually. Don't, don't we have a... Didn't we already get a copper? Did I already put it away? I remember finding one copper. That battery came from there, so what did we craft that costed copper? We put it away by accident? Nope, I guess we didn't get one. That, or I clicked on it thinking that I grabbed it, but it fell down too fast and I didn't actually grab it. That might have happened. Alright, well. Huh? Finding more of this would be grateful. Nope, that's salt. Crap, just titanium. Oh well. Uh... So, let me see here. Mobile vehicle bay fragments. I already have one of those. I don't think I need another. We're low on battery. But at least we got out of there in time. Those raptors look like they wanted to eat me or something. Alright. Finally! We have a copper. What we needed. I should probably go to the surface for oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Just stay underwater. It's not like I'm actually gonna need need oxygen or anything. That's like some sort of creature egg. Probably don't have the technology to make full use of that yet, so... Don't want to go down there all the way. In case there's a sea creeper down there. Great, my inventory is full, which means I probably wouldn't be able to pick up, uh, copper. Let me see why. Oh, creep vine. Key clusters. 
And we need to get rid of those. I mean, they're good and all, but... Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, that's what we need. Okay. Get more of this. Actually, while we're here... Let's get some... Let's get some non-vegetarian water. Is that gold or uh, copper? Nope, that was copper. Always seem to run into the issue of not finding enough copper. <laughs> that thing gonna fart again? So that's the noise I made when it was about to like fart. Apparently that stuff's deadly. Because I actually lost health from that. Yep, those things respawn. Somehow those things blow up, but yet they're somehow able to reproduce. I have no clue how. Nothing makes sense to me. But, then again, a lot of stuff here makes no sense yet. Probably figure out why that stuff makes sense or does not make sense sooner or later. I'm more lead. I'm gonna build another foundation, maybe. Alright. So we'll see. Alright. So I believe I need one more battery. Then I can make this power cell. Then if members is served, I still have an extra copper left over. I think I can use that for something. Uh, glass. Knowing that we already have our lubricant. Have our ingot. I don't remember if we had anything else. Then we need an alright. And let's see if we have enough to make a sea moth. Okay. Yes, that's what the lead was for. Fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Now, before we hop in, then let's drink some water before. That this AI starts bugging at me. He eats some he drinks some food from the house. Welcome aboard, Captain. One hundred percent. Okay, so given what we have here, I have power. I have power. And a health thing for this. So I'm assuming that predators can and probably will try to destroy my sea moth. Oh, hey, a reef back. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nope, does not look like there's anything in there. There is a wreckage over here.
What is that down there? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That's a raptor. I have like four inventory slots, so I'm imagining the modifications station will let me make modifications to this thing. I'm not sure what for, but let's go home and answer some radio distress signals. I'm assuming is what those are, or someone finally got around to sending out our distress signals. Actually, while we're here... Ah, uh, quartz. Uh, well, we can, uh... More the better. Cash based air pump. Okay, sweet. So, no, I don't get oxygen from that. I'm gonna need metal pipes, but this... But that should be good. Like, it will pump air through there, which is good, because then I can, like, drive by and get oxygen. And I need it without having to stop and go inside the base every single time. You should be done. I should probably collect some of these. Three is a bit much, I think. Uh, two will be fine. Put one in there for now. Let's answer Machine you. Call back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDF. That's 700 meters away. Well, we're gonna need to pack for a trip. So, that seems like a long ways away. Okay, so where's our salt? We have four salt. Uh, how much salt do we have in here? None. And if memory serves right, yep, that has none. Okay. So, what I need to get is four peepers. We'll cure them this time. And then we'll get some water to go. damage this time. Drove right at me. I'm like gonna spam click and go wherever it goes. Cause you only have like half a second to grab it. Okay. Now we just need the bladder fish. Memory serves right there. Should be some over near here. There's also a stalker over there, so... I'm gonna be careful and quick about it. Bladderfish, bladderfish, bladderfish. Oxygen. Oh crap. I need oxygen. Alright.
There's like a limit to how many bladder fish I can get in like a given area or something. Well, I could try getting over here. There's a stalker about. Okay, I got that person to back off. Second there, that uh, stalker looked a little different at first. Then I realized that he was carrying something. Looked like a hammerhead shark combined with a stalker. And it made me go WTF. Oh, hey, you want to fight too? Usually doing that at one to two times will uh, usually, uh, seems like to get them back off for a while. Unless they're in groups of two or three. Need some more water for this trip, come on. You tried to come right at me. Go back in for one more. I mean, it's right there. I don't want that stalker biting me because I'm gonna get like ocean cooties or something. Okay, so I have more than enough water for the trip. All right. Now I just need to grab more peepers. Now I know I said. Probably only RAV4 because I can cure them and they won't take as long. They won't decompose and all that. Which is true, but I want to bring... Like, two or three that I can eat now. To restore my current amount of hunger. And this is probably taking longer than it should. But... Then again. Ooh, try to come back around and get me. Alright. I should be good. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. That thing has no power. Luckily we can do most of our exploration in the sea law. So I'm not all too worried. Okay, so I got some of that. Okay, we're good on that front. Uh, oh yeah, I have the salt. Do this, and it's just not in my inventory. Then we're going to need to uh, remove any non-essential items. Preserved and sold a healthy and nutritious meal, dehydrating, but what keeps well. Okay, well. Alright. 
Let's see here. We got this. Filtered water. Internal things uh, we want. This. Got some stuff here. for a trip. Welcome aboard, Captain. Shallows. Okay. Well, we're at 17 meters, but there's a yellow 200. Is that a limit to how far I can go down? I don't know. I turn on the light. But, you know, that probably uses more power. That's obviously a cave I've been in. I first... Probably the time I first experimented with something. Okay, something hit my thing, but I was worried for a second, but then I looked down and I'm like, oh, hey. Still have full health, so... Another radio signal came in. Well... I wonder if we could have gotten a sea glide earlier if we answered the distress call and went there. Oh, this is right in a creep vine field. There might be raptors about. Not raptors, stalkers, sorry. I was playing League of Legends earlier. So, while well, watching the World Championship uh, quarterfinals earlier. Sorry, I, I was my mind's in a different place right now. Okay, data box. Compass. Uh, abandoned PDA. Uh, yeah. They did a lot. They had to deal with a lot more than plugging a few holes in the sea glide. They had a huge wall they had to plug in their uh, life pod. Okay, where is my, uh, sea moth? How do I open that and close it without any water getting in the cockpit? Like, it's underwater. How does that happen? Can anyone explain that to me? It's like, oh, hey, we'll just suspend water for a few seconds so you can get in and out without water actually falling into the cockpit and damaging all the electronics inside. Somehow that works for whatever reason. I don't know. And it's daytime once again. Maybe I should go near the Aurora. But I really want to build my base out more. But what if I find stuff to build my base out more and better blue fragments that I can scan for blueprints from that? Okay, so that was a lot closer than I thought. That was like 700 meters away, but I didn't realize how fast I can actually travel. So I thought, oh, let's get all this uh, stuff now. We need it later for, uh, for, for this journey, but I guess we didn't really need it that bad. Although we were already low on food and water anyway, so I probably would have had to stop halfway through, go back to my base to get something. But, you know. Alright, yeah, like, like that. It was open for like five seconds after I left. And yet that still happens. This makes no sense. Man, 300 power out of 300, okay. So that has been going up. Okay, so what do we have, uh... Voice log. Don't leave without us. Data downloads, uh, Aurora survivors. Lifebot 3. Let's listen to this. You really think it'll carry two of us? 
Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. <laughs> So, you try to essentially overclock the PSU on a, on a sea glide underwater, while well, operation underwater, and that's probably what caused the hole in your thing. Okay, let's listen to another this message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Oh, yes, we need assistance. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime? Yes, at least someone's coming to help us. Uh. Well, I guess we're not completely stranded. We know someone can come out there and help us. Now I want to go over, I believe it was over here. Where was that wreckage we were at earlier? Is it this way? That's apparently a reef back. Hi, honk. Is there like a horn on this thing? I'm just really scared to go down deeper. A moment. Oh. What are those? Probably not safe to go out and scan one. Oh, there's some up here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, 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 I know, but we don't have to worry about This is Archer. Anchor pods. Ooh, that's gonna leave a scratch. That's gonna definitely leave a scratch on the sea moth. Oh. I feel like I should name this uh sea moth something, but I'm not sure what. If you have an idea for the name of a sea moth, please let me know in the comment section down below. Cause that's the one thing I'm horrible at is coming up with names for things. Okay, so I think I found the- yep, this is the wreckage. I didn't spend much time here because of oxygen restrictions. But at the same time... Alright. Nope, can't scan that. Anything scannable that I missed? Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in there. That shin shark is getting a little too close. Now that's Sea Moth. You already have that, but you know. Might as well scan it. Get all this titanium. Surplus of titanium, but of like nothing else. We don't even use that much. Probably we'll start using more of that when we uh when we start to uh what we call it. Passing one hundred meters. Oxygen decreased. Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably due to the floodlight. Not floodlights, but uh, water pressure. 
Okay. Not open. I don't have anything to open that. No signal. Repulsion? Repulsion cannon. I didn't say repulsion gel. Battery charger! What? Half? Oh my god. We can charge our batteries! We can charge our batteries. Oh my god. Think of all the times we won't have to s keep savaging. Copper. Okay. Where's my sea moth? Oh, that definitely left a scratch. 93 health. Can you repair it? I have a repair tool. Do I need a special one for vehicles? I don't know. I have a lot of questions. Hopefully all these will be answered. Timely manner. You know. Alright, well. Back home. I want to see if I can, uh... Hear that, uh, actually... Yeah, nope. Got, uh... I rebinded a lot of things, uh... And five... Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, sweet. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's calling me a captain. Does it recognize me as captain? Well, I mean... Am I even, like... What was I on the Aurora? Like, what was my rank? Was I the captain of that ship? Maybe I was just a scientist. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't. We'll find out. Uh... Oh, I need silver, which I have for the wiring kit. You just need copper. I remember putting a lot of stuff away. What is this? Okay. Nope, we're gonna need to go find more copper. possible can we make a power cell charger because i believe we used a power cell for this and i would imagine that's what you'd have to swap out in order to keep using it even for my assumption to be wrong because i'd like a power cell charger that one's infected with something it has green stuff on it no get away you And I think it might still be aggroed to me. We'll look over here for copper. Found silver. Need copper. Okay, we found a copper. We need to do more. Oh, he's running low on copper. 
charge things that make our electronics run, I have to look for that many. So this is an investment in the long run. Not only will it help us now, but in the future. And I like that. I like living. And sleeping. And making YouTube videos and playing video games. Well, I need to live in order to do that, so, you know. Ooh, that's something I could probably scan, but there's a sand shark too close. Wait, what happened? Okay, that's a weird glitch. Not sure how that happened. It's coming after us. Or not. Maybe. I'm I don't even know anymore. I saw an outcrop there that I look at. What crashed into my ship? I don't know. Wait, is this big enough to be called a ship? Let me know. The comment section down below because I'd like to know. Your thoughts on that. see the lights inside my base like I can see the rooms as if I'm inside the base but I'm not inside it at all a distance what did I bump into man that did a lot of damage is there a safe place to park this thing because I'm afraid if I just leave it out and about Someone's going to sooner or later come along and just wreck it up. Now I'm going to assume the battery charger uses more energy from our base. And that's not going to be fun. So finding more copper once again to make another thing would be great. Alright. Let's put the battery charger here. I actually don't have any batteries. But you know, when we make some more, we'll remove the old ones and put them there. Well, let's see what else do we have. Last compartment. Both structural integrity. That doesn't sound good. Well, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, taking the time to leave any comments, questions, or feedback for me in the comment section down below would be much appreciated. And I will see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye!